Today we're going to be watching Loving Annabelle. I haven't watched this movie in years. It's been a while and I, I can't even remember how I feel about this movie. So let's just get into it and see how we go. <laughs> yeah, this movie is already taking me back. <laughs> in the closet try to watch this on like the family computer and hide the screen <laughs> oh man i have not watched this movie in so long i feel like it doesn't end well does it i usually just like black out on most lesbian endings because they're never great <laughs> this is our administrative hall cafeteria and office she does look sexy though uh. oof They have chemistry, man. Like, this this movie is fucked up from what I can remember, right? I mean, it's a teacher-student relationship. It's not great. And it's not even like you can pretend like they're an adult, you know? They're like in uni or college or whatever, right? It's like legitimately like a teenager, right? So there's like no excuse again. <laughs> but they have chemistry. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. She lets us order pizza sometimes and stay up late on the weekends. She's giving like misty vibes from yellow jackets. What's in the cage? It's a porcupine. Her name's Prissy. <laughs> I found her in the woods. I, I think her mother died. This is a hundred percent like Misty's inspiration, right? The writers of yellow jackets watch this show. It's like, this is Misty. <laughs> so I'm the same as Collins? I don't think so. Bro, shut Why the fuck up. Why don't you expand up. your mind? You are not cool. Why don't you stop cutting yourself? Out. No one likes you! She's just like throwing me back to high school and I hate it. I hate it so much. Like, what's with the constant digs? You can live off campus and still teach there. I do it from my school. Oh, they want, he wants her to move into it. Why does the subject Dude. of us, you know, moving in together stress you out so much? Because she gay. Is she gay, dude? Especially good sex. <laughs> Annabelle, I'd like to speak with you. Yeah, she does. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be like trash this whole movie. But I can't help thinking that you're trying to get a rise out of me. And why would I want to do that? And why would she want to do that? Perhaps to get attention. Or perhaps I'm intrigued by you. Yeah, she just like dives straight into it. She gives no fucks, eh? Hey? This is so gay. Oh my god. Wow, that term it is not common today, is it? And thank God, I mean, in that context, I say that's so gay all the time, but in the right context. <laughs> You've had sex with a girl? It's not that big a deal. <laughs> She's like trying to play it off like, don't, don't ask me anything. Like, I, I don't want to talk about it, but she brought it up. That's gay. Has she had queer experiences previously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did she die? Am I remember that correctly? Or did she just leave? I can't remember. <laughs> Is this like where like uh, Casey and Izzy went to school? Like that, that shot reminds me of like when they're stretching for their run and like, it's like the first sort of times that Casey and Izzy like meeting and they're being bitchy towards each other. Is this where it was filmed? Cause like, it looks eerily similar. Don't get me wrong, you're a great teacher, but you should be taking pictures. Thanks. Sweet of you to say. God, these two fucking bitches. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I love it. That's Amanda. Who's Amanda? Does gay. You seem really close. Where is she now? She died a few years ago. Yeah. Can't have a happy ending. Not with lesbian stories. I had a crush on her when I was a freshman. I'm not gay, though. <laughs> I'm into guys, too. They, they do realize being bi is a thing, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe not. It's 2006. Don't get any ideas, buddy. Mm. Oh, I don't want to see this. <laughs> She's her aunt, right? Is that what we discovered? So, that's so weird aunt relationship. Wait. Oh, I hate this movie. <laughs> There's so much happening. Okay. Not gay. Okay. <laughs> Be 
because I'm not interested in being your science project. <laughs> Mature! Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're not for me. <laughs> I don't like it. No, I don't like it. It's too risky. I don't know. Oh. Nervous habit. She's so fucking bold. Like, she is so fucking bold. You make you nervous. Yes! You make me nervous! <laughs> is this a dream? God. Like, I can kind of remember some parts and then I forget. I feel like this is a dream, right? They go, hey. They go, hey. Fuck, oh, they have so much chemistry. Jesus Christ. They're fucking cute. Ah! Don't read the note. That's not for you. Wait, did she not die? I'm not letting you go. Oh, there's just so much fucking ha happening that makes me anxious in this movie. Wait, so did I read that right? She didn't die. She just left. Or am I confused? Probably confused. It's not unusual. There is so much looking in this movie. They don't talk a whole lot. They just look at each other a lot. <laughs> this is a hundred percent where they film Casey and Izzy scenes. I'm convinced. I don't like that she keeps pushing it. Like, Simone, she's like clearly uncomfortable. And obviously they're just gonna like, the, the, the you know, the storyline obviously goes to, you know, she's just pulling back because she can't have these feelings with, with a student, right? But like, I just, in any situation, if someone is not feeling comfortable around you, like stop pushing it. I just, oh. I wanna be with somebody. Who knows they wanna be with me? Bro, you should have broken up with her a long time ago then. I want that for you too. <laughs> I love that. I want that for you too. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with you. Like, I mean, obviously, you break up. That's very clear. Annabelle, go see the nurse. I don't need a fucking nurse. <laughs> God, I hate this so much. <laughs> That's a kiss in the rain! It's during the dance night, right? Oh, they have so many shots of her in the bath just to show her boobs, I think. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, I remember this scene. Oh, goddamn. They just got so much fucking chemistry, like, oof, oof, oof. So much so, I just completely forget the toxic situation that we're in. <laughs> this doesn't even last, though, does it? Like, I feel like this is, like, the only hookup scene, and then they get caught in the morning, right? Amount of times, like, I don't remember much of the movie. I remember that scene, because I watched that scene a lot when I was younger. <laughs> She's probably in Miss Bradley's room. No. Should we go check? Let's all go check. I don't care if they're together. I like them both. Thank you! I've liked you since the start! I'd forgotten her name. <laughs> I heard there was like another ending, like an alternative ending. Am I wrong? Th where they don't get caught maybe? Or am I just being hopeful? <laughs> hey! <Simone. laughs> this is not what it looks like. She was having uh, a bad laundry day and we're just helping her out. Right? <laughs> She gets, like, arrested, doesn't she? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to say what I did was right. It's not right! Yeah, it's definitely not right. <laughs> I don't expect like, you to understand. Even I can say that. No, like, there's nothing to understand. It's just not a good situation. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> this is such a shitty movie. Why did I watch this? <laughs> Classic lesbian movie though. I mean, classic for my coming of age. 
Is this just end like this or does she do something else? I forget. It just ends. Yeah, what a weird fucking ending. I swear to God, I read like, obviously, cause I got obsessive when I was younger and in the closet coming to terms with my sexuality. Every movie that I could watch, I loved <laughs> and watched multiple times. But I feel like when I was like deep diving this, there was an alternate ending where she doesn't get arrested. Like maybe like she gets out of the room in time or something. I don't know. Or they leave together? I don't know. Maybe I'm making shit up. Well, there you go. My reaction to Loving Annabelle. It's actually a really short movie. It's like an hour and 10 minutes. That's, yeah. I didn't realize it was so short, but there's a lot to say about the movie. It's not good. <laughs> Those two have insane chemistry, but, like, the plot of the movie is just very, just icky. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, you can't even, like, play it off like, oh, she's an adult um, student. And so, like, this teacher-student dynamic is, is still off, but it's not as bad. But she's, like, a teenager. Like, she is a child. It's just, there's no way to spin that. <laughs> But I hope you liked my reaction to Loving Annabelle. If there's another, like, older movie that you think I should watch or, I don't know, any other movie, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all my videos. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.